Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog and welcome to another one of our sound comparison videos and today we're going to be going head to head on Evans and Remo. Yeah, we're going for the type of head if you want a little bit more dampening in your sounds. So this is the Pinstripe versus the EC2s. So both of these heads are pre-dampened and use two plies of 7mm, but the dampening insides are slightly different. So the Remo has a overtone muffling agent. You can see that just on the other side of the pinstripe around the edge. And the Evans have their sound shaping technology, which is just a posh muffling ring, I think, in between <laughs> the two plies. But they also have their translucent coating, which is a kind of a Colonel Sanders secret recipe thing, I think, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, it's going to be really interesting to see how these very similar on paper, but completely different manufacturer heads compare in the same room on the same kit under the same mics. Now, as all our head comparison videos, we're going to be using our own Tamat Star Classic Babinga for this kit, which has 10, 12 and 16 inch toms. Let's hear how they sound. So there you go, for such, uh, again, different technologies for making a similar sound. Don't they sound similar though? Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Far more than like an ambassador in the Emperor, where there was a definite slight difference. Yeah, but yeah. The, but the technologies are still quite similar. Mm -hmm. These have different technologies to make the same, and they almost come out sounding exactly the same. I think, I think what goes to show with this is that the type of head goes into, the, like the thickness and ply count goes a lot more into the sound produced than the dampening methods. Because yeah, yeah. these dampening methods are, although they're similar, they are very different, but the thicknesses of heads are identical. And I think that's what you're hearing. And you also notice something different when seating the head. Yeah, um, and I must admit, when Evans first brought out their Level 360 technology, I don't feel like they especially explained what it even was that well, and I couldn't really make ends of what they were trying to say on the website or the packaging. But just as I, as soon as I sat these Remos on the bearing edge, it made sense. They, they sit on there, and they don't sit happily. The way the collar chamfers up away from the collar is much more of an angle on the Remos, and because of that, it doesn't sit happily on the bearing edge until you get the hoop on it and get some pressure on it. Now, the Evans, on the other hand, the head comes out of the collar in a much straighter angle, and it sits happily straight on that bearing edge. I mean, that didn't make any difference when it came to actually tuning them. As soon as they were seated properly, that doesn't make any odds. But that did make the Evans considerably easier to get it seated properly. And when we, when we discovered that, we tried multiple Remo heads and it was slightly different results, slightly different amount on each head, whereas yeah. the Evans was consistent every one we put on. Yeah, ease of head fitting, you know? Now, we'll be honest here, we haven't heard much of a difference between these two heads, but that's not to say that you guys won't. So do let us know in the comments which of these two heads that you prefer. And let us know if there's any head in the future you want us to do a sound comparison on. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.